Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Taurus for your mid-month of November 2020. I am calling these my mid-month minis. So um, you're going to get a quick heads up as to what spirit wants you to know for the rest of the month here. All right, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the little bell notification to get notified when I have new videos coming out. Monthlies, mid-month, new moon, full moon. Um, and I also go live every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Ooh, okay. Wow, okay. Um, I also have five spots left for my From Pain to Power mentorship. They will go fast. So if you're interested in learning... Ooh, we got a card turned the other way. All right, whatever. Um, if you're interested in learning more about that, you can stay to the end of the video, and I will tell you how you can get your hands on more information. All right, we've got the Nine of Pentacles as your overall energy. So this is about being more independent. This is about being single. Some of you are definitely letting go Letting go of some kind of connection or relationship in your life. You've got the Six of Swords with the Ten of Cups. So you're walking away from something. You're walking away from something that has a hold on you is what I'm getting here. Okay? Um, it's time to let go. It's time to take a breath. Um, I'm feeling it really strongly around the Heart Chakra with you as well. Um, but definitely... This, this also could be like an addiction to you, okay? So this could be like an addiction to a person, addiction to a substance, addiction to the media. It could be uh, addiction to food. It could be like an addiction is what I'm getting for some of you. So it's a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But I'm feeling as though it's time to step outside of that addiction, excuse me. Okay, because with the Nine of Pentacles, it's my single card, but it's also my independent card. And what they're showing me is you literally stepping outside of the energy. Um, I'm feeling like a tornado of energy here. And I feel like you've been in this tornado for a really long time. Excuse me. Alexa, turn alarm off. Don't know what that was for. Um, excuse me for that. Uh, but anyway, the tornado of energy. And I'm feeling like you're stepping outside of it. But they're also making me feel like you're stepping outside of your own body. Like you're stepping outside of your own skin. Um, so you've been in this whirlwind for a little bit of time here and it's time to step outside is what I'm getting. Okay. You've got the nine of wands here with the king of swords and the seven of pentacles. Now this is about you standing in your power. This is about you knowing that you have the choice. You have the choice. You, you get to decide what you, um, see who you talk to, what you put in your body, like you do have that choice, but your ego is attacking, saying that you need this, you need this, you need this. And it's a comfortable feeling because you've been doing it for a little bit of time now, maybe even a long time now. Um, but it's time to step outside of that and it's time to get uncomfortable. You've got the king of swords. It's time to set boundaries with yourself. We're heading into 2021 and they're telling me like, you don't want 2021 to be like 2020. I mean, who the heck does? But <laughs> this is in a different way. This isn't about COVID at all, but it's about the bad habits that you have picked up um, maybe even prior to 2020. So it's really about making the decision to change and making the decision to put the boundaries in place here. And with the Seven of Pentacles, yeah, it's not going to happen overnight, but you've got to take the first step. So are you ready? is what they're asking. Or do you want 2021 to be the same as 2020? And really think about that and look at your life through the 2020, even 2019 and 2018. I feel as though there's been something around you that has slowly creeped in and created this habit or this addiction. Um, and it's not easy for you to like step outside of it. But do you, are you ready to make that decision to step outside, okay? And then we've got here, let's see what chakra we need to work on with this. It's all about change and it's about making the decision to change. Uh, especially in 2020, we feel as though, you know, so much pressure, so much stress. It's like it's hard to make that first step. And for the end of November, it's time. It's time for you to make that first step. Don't wait until January 1st. It's time for you to, you know, step into your power. And we've got the gratitude card here. So again, it's about looking in what's in your life that's worth changing for. And I talk about this in my manifest course where 
It's like the why behind your change is so important. So figure out the why of why you want to change, why you want to stop this habit, why you want to stop this addiction and really dive into the why. Get really, really crystal clear and like really get it down to a soul level as to why. It's not just because I want to feel better. Well, what does feeling better do for you? How does that change your life? And really start diving deep down into the why. And with the gratitude, this is your third eye chakra. So this is really about seeing things in a different way, in a different perspective. So, um, and you know, obviously with gratitude, start, start, uh, start, can't speak, start to identify what you're grateful for in your life and what you have that you want to cherish. And that again is worth changing for. So there's habits here that need to be changed and boundaries that need to be set so that you can bring 2021 in, in a different vibration. And they're showing me that if you decide to make this change, if you say, okay, I'm done, I am ready. And if you are ready, December is going to be the month for you of complete healing and complete shifting. So therefore bringing in 2021, you're going to be a different person by the time that even comes. And yes, it can happen that quick. All right. So I hope that resonates with you, but really, you know, it's about making that decision and saying, okay, I'm done with, you know, living like this. I'm ready. And, you know, tomorrow is day one. I am ready to, to do this. Let's do this. All right. So I hope that resonates with you. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I love that. Be independent, focus on your own beliefs and your own values and really start to make changes in your life here. All right. If you guys wanted to learn more about my From Pain to Power mentorship, it is an eight week healing program that I take women through after toxic relationships. Um, so if you've attracted toxic relationships into your life before, um, this is really tailored to you. We dive really deep down into the childhood to identify what happened in your childhood and release the energy behind it, shift the subconscious beliefs that are still affecting you to this day, affecting your emotions, affecting your attitude, the negativity, the anger, all of these different things that are still affecting you to this day usually come from childhood. So if you've had a traumatic childhood, which could just mean that parents got divorced, somebody left, somebody wasn't around, you were neglected, um, obviously physical, sexual, mental abuse, um, you know, anything like that definitely will affect how you're feeling today. So that's what we do through this program. Um, it's really about transforming your limiting beliefs. It's about uh, releasing your energy. It's about building your confidence, learning how to enforce your boundaries, and really taking your power back in your life and controlling your emotions. All right, if you're interested to see if you're a good fit, you can look in the description box below as well as the comments below to see a little questionnaire link there that you can answer some questions to see if you're a good fit for the program. All right, much love to all of you. Make the decision. It's time. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Much love. Bye.